All right, Shalom. I will start out by giving all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakhakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and brother in this truth. All right, so today is my camp day. All right, I came out the private side, but here in my city, uh, it's been a lot of uh, inclement, inclement weather. All right, going on and shit. We've been getting a lot of rain and whatnot, a lot of storming and shit. So. I'm not gonna be able to do it on the outside today because it's just nasty outside. All right, it's raining, it's wet, it's just yucky. You could probably hear the wind blowing through. It's just, all right, all right. So you can hear that. All right. So I was howling out there right now, and it's coming down. But nevertheless, I'm gonna do this lesson in the car. All right, Abaratza, you have a boss, and I was shy. It'd be edifying. All right. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to open up in the book of Matthew, chapter 15, and verse 24, and it reads, But he answered and said, I am not sent unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. All right, and the house of Israel would be the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right? And, um, you know what I'm saying, those, those of us that are scattered amongst other nations as well, but that's who the Israelites would be, all right? Primarily in today's time, all right, the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right? And then, you know, we got our, we got our foreign, our Israelite um, foreigners, all right? That's um, the speckled birds, all right? They look like the other nations. But on this side, you have Hashem is only coming back for the elect, all right? He's not coming back for the whole house of Israel. He's only coming back for the elect, all right? And um, that proves in itself right there, that scripture, that he's only coming back. All right, for uh, Israel, he said he's only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's not, the whole world is not under the Israelite banner, all right? This is John 10 and verse 27. It say, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my, out of my hand. All right, so again, this is all according to election, all right? Yeah, how about you, man? chose the elect before the um the foundation of the earth. All right, was even um was even here. All right, they were already chosen spirits. All right, being of the first roots. All right, and and in the times that we in today, all right, they they're gonna be the ones who receive the salvation. All right, let me see. Uh, yeah, this is Ephesians chapter one. All right, I'm gonna start at verse three. It says, "Blessed be." The God and Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Hamashiach, according as he had chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us into the adoption of children by Yahweh Shah Mashiach to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. All right, so, again, that's letting you know the elect <clears throat> were chosen <clears throat> in the spirit world, all right? They were already uh, given to Yahweh Shah by Yahweh, all right? That's why he said no one can pluck them out of his hand, all right? No man can pluck them out of his hand because, you know what I'm saying, the Father gave, him, gave you know what I'm saying, the elect to Yahweh Shah, all right? I will write this out will, and I'm of that number, you know what I'm saying? But just letting you know, and uh, let me go to John, <clears throat> let me go to John 17, so I can hear my voice, all right, my bad. This is John 17. All right. I'm going to read. Um, let me see. Where are we going to start? Uh, I'm going to start at verse 6. It say, I have manifest thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. They, Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they, kept, and they have kept thy word. All right. So again. That's then you know that the elect were given to Yahweh shot by Yahweh. All right, um, verse seven it says, "Now they have known all, so like it, now they have known that all things whatsoever Thou hast given me, are of Thee, for I have given unto them the words which Thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I come out from Thee, and they have believed that Thou didst send me." I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them which thou givest me, for they are thine. All right. And that word is speaking of, all right, is the word of Israel. How about Shemel only cares about the elect, all right? He doesn't care about 
the people of this world, nor does he care about the two thirds. All right. Let me see. Um, verse ten. It says, "All it says, and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them." All right. And when you read on again, it says, "I'm in verse eleven, and now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to thee, Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are one." All right. So again, this does when you know that the elect were given to Yahweh shot by Yahweh. Verse twelve it says. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. You see, those that thou gavest me, I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. All right. And that was talking about, uh, at that point in time, I think it was talking about Judas, Judas Ascaragus. All right. <clears throat> All right. Verse 13, it says, And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world hated them because they are not of the world, even as even as I am not of the world. All right, so the two-thirds are going to hate the one-third because the one-third is not like them, all right? And the, and the rest of the world is going to hate the, the elect as well, all right? The scripture tell you I'm the servant is not greater than the master. All right, um... And if your house shot was hated, you know his elect are gonna be hated, all right? Let me see, uh let me get some more precepts, all right. Now I'm gonna be jumping around like I mean, you know, I didn't have nothing necessarily queued up. I never do. I just roll in the spirit. Alright, I just shoot the prayers up to your how by some how shy. And he guides me uh through the lesson, all right. Let me see, uh Talking about the election. It's also um I know it's Romans eleven and seven as well. All right. It say what then Israel had not attained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. As it is written, Yahweh had given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should see not, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. All right, and that's why the two thirds can't see it. All right, and David, uh, verse nine, and David said, "Let their table be a snare and a trap and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see, and bow down their necks, and bow down their back away." So like you, all right. So even King David was praying. You know what I'm saying against the two thirds. All right, because two thirds of our people are just you know what I'm saying they they wicked. All right, there's nothing you can do about it. The best thing you can do for a two third is not be one. All right. It's first Maccabees um one and eleven when they tell you it's wicked men that went out of Israel. All right, and then you also got um. I think it's in Jeremiah. I want to say chapter five. Okay. This is first Maccabees one and eleven. Though it say in those days, in those days went there out of Israel wicked men. Who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. And these same individuals are back today, all right? Because in the, in the times we're in right now, all of the great people are, are, are back on earth right now, all right? This is the the greatest and also the wickedest generation known known to man, all right? That's why Yahweh Shah said this adulterous generation cannot pass, all right? So everybody. All the major players are back in their lights, all right? All of the prophets are back. All of the wicked are back. And all of you wicked two-thirds are back, all right? Uh, First Maccabees 1 and 12, it says, So this device pleased them well. Then certain of the people were so forward herein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinance, ordinances of the heathen. All right, and that's what two-thirds of our people do, you know what I'm saying? They go down to Egypt for help. All right, and they want to, you know what I'm saying, continue when they sin, and they want to do do the shit that they see these heathens do, all right? Let me see. Uh, and when you read on, it tells you, you know what I'm saying, what else they, they went on to do. It say, whereupon they built a place of exercise at Jerusalem according to the customs of the heathen. All right, this is where your modern-day gymnasiums and all this shit come from. And these niggas, at that point in time, was uh, working out, naked and wrestling and shit, just doing all sorts of... The same shit you see today, because there's no new thing under the sun, right? That's why in these gyms, 
You see these men in these basically tights, and you see women in fucking tights and leggings, all right? Back then, they were just basically naked, but, you know what I'm saying, in today's time, they're still naked, but they have some sort of fabric, all right, uh, covering up their actual, all right, uh, privy members and whatnot, all of that. But anyway, this is, um, let me see. I'm going to read this one, then I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to uh, Jeremiah. This is Mac, 1 Maccabees 1 and 15. It says, And made themselves uncircumcised, and forsook the holy covenant, and joined themselves to the heathen, and were sold to do mischief. All right. And in Jeremiah 10 and 2, it tells you, Learn not the way of the heathen. All right. But two thirds of our people right now are getting ready to celebrate Christmas. All right. They're going to celebrate Christmas. You know what I'm saying? They're going to. uh. They've already voted. They're going to try to celebrate New Year's. They're going to basically do everything they can to bring some sort of mirth back to this land. But little do they know it's over. All right. How about Shemel Shai? It, it's took the mirth out of this land. All right. No matter what you do, you're not going to get it back. All right. All right. Um, This is Jeremiah 5. I'm going to read verse 25. It says, Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholding good things from you. For among my people are found wicked men. They lie wait as he that set in snares. They set a trap, they catch men. As a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and waxing rich. They are waxing fat, they shine. Yeah, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper. And the right of the needy do they not judge. Shall I not visit for... These things, saith the Most High Yahweh, shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this. All right, so you that's, that's then you know. All right, again, it's wicked Israelites.